Hey guys, so if you look at me and think, what the heck did she do to her face? You can check out yesterday's video. I explained it thoroughly. Did a little PRP, platelet-rich plasma treatment on my face. So anyway, you can check out yesterday's video. Anyway, so this video is, okay, so I got a couple new goodies and I also kind of uh, am a little bit annoyed because all these brands release these strong acidic products and then they come out with a product to treat that, <laughs> a bear repairing product. And uh, I'm not a crazy fan necessarily of either of these brands at this point, um, but I'm going to talk about the new Drunk Elephant and the new Biosense, and I'm going to be 100% honest, these just came uh, last night, so I have not used them, so I'm going to talk about them. So, I think it's ironic that Drunk Elephant is releasing a bear repairing product, which uh, my nieces have asked for, so um, anyway, I don't necessarily know if they're going to get it, but... I don't know. Anyway, I thought, well, if I even consider buying it for them, which they don't need it, uh, I should at least try it, but they're probably going to be a bubble or something else. Anyway, they're young. I mean, they're getting older, but anyway. So, uh, recently I burned my face off with their C Firma Serum, like big time. Like, this was like a big time recuperation effort just after using this for several days. It's super strong. It's got a good amount of vitamin C in it. It's got supposedly a lower pH, which doesn't really happen in my pH test strips, two different types, but whatever. And then it's got these exfoliants in here as well. Uh, so, and then we look at this. I, I think this used to be 12%. Now I think they changed it to 10%. And then they've got the baby facial, which is also super strong. So what do we need to fix your skin after all that crap? We need the bare repair product, which the ingredient list does look okay. Uh, what does Biosense release? A similar, similar repair product, overnight repair product. Although Biosense doesn't have as many irritating products and strong acids out there as Drunk Elephant does, but they still have some out there. And I should mention Biosense, sadly, the company that owns Biosense as well as Pipette, they went into bankruptcy. I think the company name was Amaris. They went into bankruptcy and Biosense was bought by none other than the Hutt Group. And anybody who knows the Hut Group is going to be like, oh gosh, that's sad. Because it is kind of sad because the Hut Group, they've been really digging their claws to get in the U.S. market. They're big with uh, a lot of companies' uh, websites, Cult Beauty, uh, Skin Store, I believe, um, Derm Store most recently, and now they own Biosense. So they are digging their heels to get in the U.S. market and they are not going to be denied and now they bought this and they got it pretty affordably. Uh, I mean, honestly, I think all of me and my 80,000 some subscribers, we could have collectively each paid five bucks or something and purchased it. Well, I don't, the math doesn't math, but whatever, you know what I mean, but whatever. Too late now, it's gone, it's sold. So I guess, you know what, I'll just start, I'll, I'll apply this, my skin's clean. It hurts a little bit, but anyway, so the main ingredients in this one, See, the first ingredients are slip ingredients, and then we got shea butter, evening primrose oil, jojoba seed oil, squalane. We've got some fatty acids, rosehip oil, alpha glucan, resveratrol. I can get excited about that. Uh, ECGC, epilochian galate, soothing antioxidant ingredient, magnesium, zinc, and then some peptides, astaxanthin. Uh, yeah, ceramides. I can get excited about the resveratrol and some of the antioxidants in here. So I'm curious, the texture of this one will be closer to the Proteiny or closer to the Lala Cream or just totally different. Oh, prime the pump, Sarah. Prime the pump. Okay, there we go. I don't know. Doesn't seem really close to either. It seems a little thicker. I'm going to put it on my platelet-rich plasma forehead. Doesn't quite have as much slip to it. Oh, it hurts. It's sore from the microneedling and the platelet-rich plasma injection. <laughs> oh, it's sore. Uh, I don't know. The, it doesn't really have the slip of the protein, but it's not as thick as the Lala cream. But I feel like this is going to be one where a little bit does not go a long way. It doesn't feel greasy or anything, though. There we go. Anyway, feels kind of nice. Ah, yeah, feels fine. I mean, I'm gonna curious if they recommend this for daytime use or both. I'm gonna guess is gonna be my guess, but let's see. 
Suggested use, apply one pump morning and night to clean dry skin. I just don't think one pump is going to be enough for an entire face because one pump was enough for about half my face. So, I don't know. There we go. Feels okay. I mean, it doesn't feel... It feels like sunscreen's going to pill unless you give it a minute to soak in. That's the only thing I found that helps uh, with certain moisturizers under sunscreen. And the only thing I found that helps is giving them 5-10 minutes to soak in before you put the sunscreen on. Otherwise, it pills even more noticeably or easily, more easily. Okay, so this is meant to be a night cream, but I'm going to put it on anyway. Let's see. So in here, we've got squalane, ectoin, jojoba esters. We've got peptide, which is exciting. Let's see. Magnesium, chloride, palmitic, some fatty acids. Really, honestly, a pretty short ingredient list and nothing that instantly like impresses me, I guess. Maybe the acetylhexapeptide 8. Is that snap 8? I think that might be snap 8. So if that's it, I'm impressed. Okay, so got my little spatula. Da, 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 da. Here we go. It looks thick. Very thick. I'm just going to pull it off the lid because the lid is covered with it. Okay. There we go. Certainly thick. Actually, I think this spreads a little bit easier than a drunk elephant. Especially if it's meant to be a nighttime cream. Hmm. I like the texture of it better. My poor face is just all beat up, isn't it? <laughs> Looks like I got in a fight or something. Yeah, I like the texture of this better. I, the drunk elephant texture is just kind of, mm, I don't know. It's kind of thick, but not spreadable, easily spreadable. So anyway, so th this could be a winner, I think. Neither of them are going to be cheap. So in this time of year, everyone's coming out with all their new stuff. So uh, anyway. I mean, it's short and simple ingredient list, but uh, I'm a fan of the peptide and the ectoid. And this one, I'm a fan of the resveratrol and nastaxanthin. I can never pronounce it right. But um, anyway, honestly, I still love the Summer Fridays. Still one of my favorites. I got to review it. I haven't reviewed it yet. So I, it's this time of year now. So everyone's coming out with their new stuff. Uh, Glow Recipe has a new uh, essence, which I won't be trying because it's full of citrus oils. I also ordered some things from Minimalist to review, and then um, there's another brand that I hadn't heard of that someone asked me to test out, and I picked a few things from them up to try, So I can't remember what that was at this point. Um, let me go grab it. Hang on. Okay, I found it. It's Depology. Depology. Anyway, I picked up a few things from them to try. So, new year, new skin care. Uh, anyway, I think if this had a little bit more slip to it, I could like it a little bit more. But it's just one pump isn't going to be enough. And if you need two pumps, it's going to be gone super fast. Anyway, so there we go. Those are my, uh, I don't know, ram rumblings, ramblings for today. I guess just two new goodies and uh, my thoughts. So, anyway, I, li I'm li I, like, I like how this feels. It feels velvety. And this one feels... A little, not not uh, greasy, but a little tacky. So anyway, feels like this this one would be a better nighttime cream. That's what it feels like. But we'll see. And it is ironic to see all these brands come out with bear repairing products after they come out with all these strong acids and things like that. So it's always kind of funny. I guess if you make the ill, you can make the cure or whatever. So if you create the problem, you can make the cure. So it's um, wonderful for them. Anyway, okay, that's all I got for today. I'm obviously suffering from uh, my all my face treatments. I've been too much, I think, for my small little brain to comprehend in one day. So anyway, okay, that's all I got for today. Leave a comment. I'm interested if uh, there's any new goodies coming out you're interested in or what you're going to pick up or nothing. Or just wait for reviews. That's always sometimes a good thing to do, too. But wait for real reviews, because I think on Sephora, there's already gazillions of reviews of this. And I guarantee those people got it for free. And I don't know. Some people trust free reviews, but I'm a little leery. 
Anyway, okay. Thank you so much, guys. I will see you more tomorrow.